Rob, and I'll show you how to assemble and activate your new phone. This is the Mitel 5320 phone. When you unpack the box, you'll find the phone, the handset, the cord for the handset, the base, some ethernet cables, and a power adapter and cord. If your LAN is power over ethernet, you don't need this. If your LAN is not power over ethernet, we'll include this power adapter to power your phone. Connect the cord to the back of the power adapter here. And then plug this end into the wall. The ethernet cables connect to the power adapter here and here. The ports are clearly marked. This one is for the LAN. Connect the power adapter to your LAN and then connect your phone to this port here. This is the back of the phone. There are four ports on the back of the phone. Connect your LAN to this port. If you connect your PC to your phone, connect it here. The handset connects here. And if you buy an optional headset, connect it here. Now let's assemble the phone. Take the ethernet cable and thread it through this hole in the base. Connect it to the phone. When you connect the base, you'll notice three slots to receive the base. The base can be set up in three orientations. There's a standard angle, a low angle, and if you reverse the base, you can wall mount. Connect the cord to the handset by connecting the short end of the cord into the handset and the long end into the phone. When the software downloads, the phone will be ready to activate. When the phone displays activate, you can activate your phone by pressing the key and then you will have received an email with your extension and with your PIN. Enter your extension followed by your PIN, and follow that up with the pound sign. Now your phone is ready to make and receive calls.